the discussion under ecology environment, I mentioned the term conservation agriculture. The moment I talk about the poverty aspects, it's about uh, the agriculture, uh, um, poverty and hunger also. Now I'm discussing something very specific. Say I'm talking about a question, what is conservation agriculture? Discuss its significance in agriculture development in India. So this is a very, very uh, popular word which is catching up across uh, initiatives in India's agriculture sector. And this has also been promoted by the UN and the FAO. The conservation agriculture is a type of farming system that encourages conservation of agricultural resources and promotes resource use efficiency in agricultural practices. Okay, these are the three important words that it is a type of farming system. And what it does is it, it encourages conservation of agricultural resources. What I mean by this is conservation of land, conservation of soil. It talks about management of water aspects. It also talks about proper use of biodiversity and the local varieties of crops. So it encourages the conservation of resources. Very importantly, it is a method that encourages efficiency in agricultural practices. So these are the three words. One is that it is a, it is a type of farming system. It is a method of farming that tries to conserve agricultural resources. And when I say agricultural resources, I'm talking about land management, soil management, soil conservation, water management, water usage, local water resources. It also is about managing the biodiversity of that particular region. And in doing so, it tries to promote better resource use efficiency. So, and I said, this is a practice which has been encouraged by FAO. It has been found very successful in parts of Africa. They have worked this out in Sudan. They have tried this out in Somalia. Uh, we have this model also working in parts of China. Okay, we have this part, this also working in part of Egypt. So it is a fairly successful model, a new method. Now, conservation agriculture is based upon three types of principles. Three principles includes, number one, it is minimum or, if possible, zero disruption of soil. And this is where your zero tillage comes in. As far as possible, they say, avoid plowing, uh, avoid disturbing. Okay, or disrupting the soil. Okay, the minimum or zero disruption, minimum or zero disturbance to the soil. That's one component. The second principle is that they seek to promote covering the soil and protecting the soil. And this can be done by mulches. This can be done by trees and plantations. Okay, so in this, what is done is that the soil is not allowed to be exposed to agencies of erosion. So if this is the land here, they try to cover the land by agriculture waste. What do I mean by mulches? Mulches basically means some kind of cover which is laid over the land. And as far as possible, they recommend that the covering should be done using agriculture waste. You can also have tree covers is part of now agroforestry for that matter. So three principles. So one is minimum or zero disturbance or disruption to soil. Second is covering and protecting the soil using mulches, trees and plantation. And the third component is diversification of crops and non-crops. Diversification includes crop rotation. It includes intercropping, so it includes crop rotation, it includes cropping intensity. Okay. It also includes okay, diversification and non-crops like livestock. It seeks to encourage the local biodiversity. So conservation agriculture as a practice is based on these three aspects. One is minimum or zero tillage. Okay. Second is covering and protecting the soil 
with mulches. And third is diversification of crops and the non-crops. As a part of diversification, we are essentially trying to manage the aspects related to biodiversity. We're talking about like a better management, local varieties. So livestock, animal husbandry, we're talking about okay, whatever resilience we have from the local biodiversity. So what is conservation agriculture? What are the principles behind it? Now the question was asking you about how is its significance for agriculture development in India? Now, if you talk about significance for India, the significance is under three, four heads. This is a very environmental friendly set of practices and that has environmental and ecological significance. It is resource efficient in particular, it tries to manage soil and water aspects. Hence, this method is very relevant for the drought regions, relevant for hill regions. It is also relevant for areas which have limited and they have marginal land, not the best type of land. Because it is resource efficient, it is also relevant for small and marginal farmers. Why? Because this helps in better efficiency. So it tries to okay, reduce the costs of agriculture production. In India, this is also relevant for food security. Because it is, again, efficient for soil and water, this becomes a part of what's called as climate change resilient agriculture. So I'm discussing how is conservation agriculture relevant for India's agriculture development. There's the eco-friendly method. It is okay, environmentally better manageable, soil and water efficient. So for drought regions, for hill regions, for marginal land, it helps in climate change resilient agriculture because it is less in terms of inputs. So it's important for small farmers, marginal farmers, and all of this put together this becomes a very important component of agriculture sustainability. So in India, as a part of programs, we have a mission as National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture. This has been okay, one of the eight missions under as a part of National Action Plan on Climate Change. How it is a part of National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture, NMSA. NMSA is one of the eight missions under National Action Plan for Climate Change. And what it tries to do is, it tries to encourage climate change resilient and climate change adaptive practices. It includes all the goals that we have to meet under SDGs which are, which are related to agriculture achievements. So your conservation agriculture is part of your national mission on sustainable agriculture. And once you've discussed all of this, you can move on towards discussing the profitability of agriculture, the better incomes. Like if you have all of this in place, you also end up having a better chances to meet doubling of the farmer's income. And what you can do is, as a part of illustrating this concept, as a part of like, supporting this idea, you can talk about any case study. You probably could take up Bundelkhand and you can discuss the droughts in Bundelkhand, talk about encouraging livestock in Bundelkhand. You can also take the case study of Vidharba. You can have examples related to watershed-based development. Uh, in India, we also have rain-fed farming. So this also uses many components of conservation agriculture. So while talking about the octagon, so this you can discuss separately. So zero budget natural farming. This includes even practices of zero tillage. So this is type of uh, summary about what we can do for the environment and the ecological aspects in agriculture. So that is one discussion. What is conservation agriculture? What are the three principles of conservation agriculture? And how can we use it as a part of India's agriculture development and sustainability?